One of the challenges, I think, being the work that I do, or having meetings and conversations with people that they can't always be recorded, can't always be shared um, for obvious reasons, I think. But I think there may be a way that I can try and bring some value from other conversations I have, which aren't confidential, but at least give you some insight into how you could ask yourself some kind of better questions that give you at least a, a better quality of answers or more choices that you may be kind of uh, after. So what happened, very simple story, I was going for a, a deep tissue massage uh, this morning and I was just talking to um, the massage therapist there and she was saying very clearly that she um, liked Facebook only for catching up with friends and did not use it at all for promoting her business. Um, she found that people who use Facebook for business, or the way she's encountered it, it's been really pushy, really sales driven, it's been something she, she doesn't want to do at all and, and, and is very wary, in fact, put, puts a massive block between her and it, doesn't like it at all, sticks to website and, and Google search. So she is very fixed on this particular position and she was seeing it through just one filter or through one lens of how it was bad or she didn't want to come across that way or push yourself. She was seeing it just through her one filter and that really stopped her from doing it. She hadn't done any work at all on it, no development, not even played around to the tools or understanding how the medium worked or the platform worked at all. That she just shut down saying no. Now, I'm not saying that she had to go onto Facebook or she had to use any other platform, but I asked for a different question. Understanding her world, which is like she was just kind of anti-sales, sales was not her, which is fine, and I get that because I come, I come from that kind of background. I said, well then, how could we see it from a different way? What if you were to say, you use it as a marketing or as a branding tool where you're not looking for a sale, you're looking for awareness and engagement. You're looking to help people with some easy to solve problems, maybe, a written blog because she wasn't keen on video but a written blog about what's the three things that you need to watch out if you're a runner or how to cure shin splints quickly just little things not every day but maybe once a week or once every two weeks put something together which is high quality and then uses that as a platform to then just to to share it and distribute it to different different people the minute she shifted from the idea of sales to something else, something actually was giving benefit and the whole money and sales thing was put to one side and it was not on, in any way there. She completely shifted around. Her perception was opened. She went, oh yeah, I'd like to do that. Those words are quite powerful from absolutely rescinding the whole idea of Facebook to the idea of actually taking on board. It was simply by an observation saying, well look, see it from a different perspective. I think it's a valuable platform, but I just share this with you because I think it's a unique example of how we can be so fixed in one particular position and all it takes is a different question, a different observation to quickly, to quickly change our thinking entirely on something. Um, it goes back to like videos I've done in the past about how quick change can happen. It can happen in an instant. Literally in the space of a second, she was shut down saying, no, this is never gonna happen to, ah, well, maybe this could happen. And I don't know what the results are gonna be, but she's opened up our mind in a different way. What can you take from this? Where could you extract some value? I think if you just focus on the idea of looking at something in one way, as you probably currently are, and then explore different ways of looking at the same thing. This is a hugely powerful technique that I've mentioned in the past, but just notice how I've used it. I gave it to look at it from a different way. I mean, when you look at running a small business, when she's self-employed as she is, you've got just two strategies. You've got sales and marketing. So if the sales route was gonna work for you, you have to flip to the other one and see if that one's better. So that's all we did. Once she was there, she was away. I was suggesting some further things and she was getting into it. Some is getting quiet as it naturally does. So this was a great opportunity to do some learning. I said, you know, and you can progress this. But she was on board, we had a conversation, she was engaging with it and she felt she could now go and do something she absolutely said no she wasn't gonna do before. I hope that illustrates how swiftly things can change when you're asked better questions or different questions and also you create some choices, see it through a different lens, see it through a lens that actually is more um, complementary to you, ones that actually would assist you more. But let's be sure, I mean, she may go to Facebook, may try those things and it won't work out for her. It's not her medium. That's fine too. It's not about kind of following a strict regime, but isn't it more useful to have choice? 
isn't it now more useful for her to at least investigate rather than shut it down? I really ask you to find things in your life that you may equally have shut out or perceptions or thinking about something in a way which isn't really useful for you that you might want to change. The way to do it is to ask yourself a different question. How could you see this in a different way? What would you have to do to actually open your mind to it? So taking that from real world out experience and giving you an insight of how you can get some change. Sometimes it's simply one question which transforms someone's thinking and takes them on a different journey, different path than they were before. So as always, take care, have a wonderful day where you are, and I'll catch you next time.